Alright, here's just a look at the Rover, Fly, Rover 5 with the AT Tiny 84 controlling uh, controlling it using a Blue Smurf Bluetooth module for wireless control. Um, in there's the AT Tiny 84. We've got it hooked up to six nickel metal hydride batteries um, to get enough power to get going. Uh, our motor controller, I couldn't even tell you what what it is, but there will be a link in the blog or description for the motor controller. Um, and it controls all, there's four motors, one, one for each corner, uh, and each side is controlled exactly the same. So I didn't need um, essentially four motor controllers. This one can control two, and I just split each motor into two motors. Uh, for each side. Let's take a look at what's going on soft here, software wise. Um, I've got four numbers are being showed right there and depending on how I move a joystick it will, it will change the numbers on there. So, so there's a laptop wired to the joystick and this is just being controlled by Bluetooth. Um, so, if we can get everything in here. So yeah, you can see it can be controlled wirelessly. I can't really show you both but I can put the controller down and and uh, having a little trouble there one track is, is coming off every time I go anywhere not sure what's up with that I'm gonna try adjusting the tracks maybe they're they're a little bowed in or out or something and it's and it's making it uh, come off the track so I'm not sure what what that's doing but yeah using the Logitech controller right joystick for the right the right track left joystick for the left track uh, USB into a C sharp program that's sending it out via Bluetooth to the blue smurf uh, module Bluetooth module there um, which sends it's TX data into the RX port. Uh, I built a software UART um, system that, that retrieves the retrieves all the information, and uh, from there it goes out to the motor controller, depending on uh, what the inputs are, and that controls controls the motor. So, yep, I'll just drive her a little bit here for you. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Working pretty well, very responsive, as you can see. Definitely a fun project. I think next I'm gonna try to make it um look a little nicer. It's quite a mess right now, but uh, it's all because I'm using this prototyping board, and, and as soon as I can start soldering some actual components in. We'll be able to reduce the size and maybe even get it in the inside the bottom here. Um, but yeah, that's that's the rundown. Thanks for watching.